How many times you grab your extension cord, plug it in, and you have two tools, but you only got one outlet, and you get an adapter to have three outlets? The heck with that. Let's just cut to the chase. I'm gonna show you how to wire up your extension cord to make it a four-way outlet like this. Very easy, very simple. <laughs> oh yeah, four-way is much better than a one-way. That didn't come out right. I'm Rick, and this Shut the heck up, you stinking boosters. Nail that for your sanity! <laughs> This is the shack. Hey everybody, welcome. Hey, if you're new to the channel, if this is your first time stopping by, seriously, thank you so much for taking some of your valuable time out to view. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire up, in this case, a four-way outlet. Check in the description. I will have the items that I use listed down there. This is not, because this is, again, from my old one, and I repainted it just because, but I suggest you don't use plastic. They're being tossed around, thrown around, plastic will break and you don't want that, use metal. But I will have a description one to use down below. So check it out. Don't be emailing me, what'd you use? What about this? It's all down there. Take a break and go to the description, scroll down and read the list. You can write it down. Um, all the stuff I got with through Home Depot, take the list anywhere and they can help you and get what you need. Show you everything I got. We're going to start to wire this thing up. Now this is everything I'm using. And again, because I am using the four-way outlet, because my two big things that I plug in are my compressor and my planer, that's why I went to a 12 gauge. You can go thinner. I personally, when I do extension cords, I like a heavier gauge extension cord. This is 25 foot. 25 is perfect for me around the shop. You may want to go 50. So we're going to cut this end off because I don't need it. So basically this is all I'm going to use. I have my lineman pliers from Crescent, flathead screwdriver, and I have some wire trimmers, wire cutters. A little tip. These, it's actually clear so you can see the color coordinated to which side of the plug. I have a thing that I do, and everybody's got their own way of doing it. When I do outlets, to me, I always do black gold, and the white goes on the silver. Or if you look at the, the plug, you got the wide tab and the thin tab. Wide, white, black on the thin, because I like black hills of gold, so I just figure this is kind of a gold color. I could do a black gold. That's how I remember the colors for these, just so I don't forget. Same here. I know it's kind of far away, but you look at the female and you have, uh, this is the wide tab, this is the thin tab. If you have a multimeter, you can set it to your ohms and put the black in the ohm, red into where it belongs, and you can test continuity. So I'm gonna put the red into the female wide. So this would be the wide white. Plug it in there. And I'm going to touch the black side first, see if anything happens. Nothing. I touched the white, white side. Oop, there, I got continuity. So that way I know for sure that is correct. And that's what we'll do when we wire up these. We'll again do it in there just to make sure. I want you guys to understand. I don't want you to wire it up. Do something and zap and fry. Follow directions, it will be fine. If you don't, that is on you. I'm not taking responsibility for your mistakes. All right, so let's get going on this now that I've showed you how to test. Okay, as much as I hate doing it, <laughs> I gotta do it, but we don't need this in. So I'm going to get my good crescent pliers here and we're gonna cut this bad boy off. Left a little, just in case I maybe need the plug later, I can wire this up. Sorry for the interruption, but I always like to ask that you will subscribe, and if you do, ring the ding, 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 that bell down there so you're notified when the videos do come up. Also, give it a thumbs up, like it, and share. It helps the channel. Now back to the video. So I'm gonna go back about three inches, 
and that should be plenty. There we go. So let me slide this through here. So your black gold goes here. Ah, I'm gonna get on there. There we go. So the white goes on DC side. Put that in there. Tighten it up, loop it around right there. And then we're going to loop it around the ground. go. I'm not going to tighten that all the way. I'm just going to put it on temporary so we can do our test. Make sure we have this in there right. Go backwards always. Make sure it drops into the thread so it doesn't cross thread or nothing. So we'll test it again. Make sure we got it correct. So we're going to put it in the wide. You see that there? Maybe you can see it if it work. Red goes into the wide side. And again, these are tamper resistant, so they're kind of a pain in the ass. So I'm just going to go on to the side here and, and connect it. And we're going to tap on the black side first. Nothing. Go on to the white side. Boom. So we have it wired correctly. So now we're going to wire it so it jumps to the second outlet. Well, let me get some wire and I'll be right back. Okay, and I got everything I need. I got this off of there again. So I was going to just shove the wire into the back here. You can shove it in there, it locks it. I really don't like that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and just loop it. These are some of the crescent, the new uh, line of crescent pliers. Basically go from white to white. Then I'm going to loop it to the white on this side. Wrong side. It almost went. I looked at gold. Wait, black gold. Wrong side. See? That's why I have to do those things because I forget sometimes. Okay. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> there we go. Nope, I was right because I want it this way. Jeez, Rick. All right, get my black one here. It's just been one of them days a day. It really has. <laughs> Some days everything goes smooth. Other days it seems like it's getting roadblocks even in the smallest task. Okay, so this will go over to this side. Okay, now all I got to do is run the ground wire. If I have buck connectors, I can run another wire down and connect the three together. So I do have another piece here. I think I'm going to do that. It'll be easier. I'm going to just take this off. I'm gonna connect one here. I'll wire them all three together, just make it easier on me. Like I said, normally I would take my time and I would tend the tips of these just because they're 
soft wire all together versus a solid core, which you would normally use on these. So let me get that real quick. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kind of loop this around, get all three of these together. Bueno, bueno. Again, I'm going to test it before we finalize it. We're going to make sure if I can get this up there where you can see it, maybe. Uh, still on, still on. So I'm going to go from one side to another, white to white. Yep, white. White to black. Oh, get your finger back on there. Nothing. White, white, good. Black to, to white, nothing, black to black, good. So we're good, it all wired up nicely. So now, oh last thing, on these. If I put this on there, those tabs are gonna stick out. So they have little lines on here, these will break off, so I'm gonna snap these off. That one don't wanna bend off, there it goes. Okay, let's see if we can get these in here, line them up, get them started. Now I always go backward till I hear it click, then I go in there so I don't cross thread. Back. There it goes. Sometimes you have to maneuver the wires, push them up out of the way so they fold out of the way so you can get your stuff in there. There you go. Okay. We don't tighten it up all the way yet. Bust these little tabbers off. Now it should fit on there. Much better, there we go. Yeah. All right, now we do adjustments. Good, good. Button this back up. Okay, we'll do one final test. And just a little side note on the uh, tamper resistant outlets here. Yeah, you can't really do it too easy with the one. I mean, you can do it, we can get it in. It's easier if you apply pressure on both sides, then it goes right in. So we'll do both sides on both these just to make sure. Now remember, the thin line is the black wide tab, wide white. So you see in here, you see the white, that's the wide tab, thin tab is black. Or black gold if you're doing it on the outlets. That's, that's just my real, little thing of doing it. So since that is the black side, we're gonna do white, nothing, ground, nothing, black, boom. We got continuity on that one. So let's switch. So that is the wide white. We'll do black first, nothing. Flip it over to the white side. We got continuity. Okay, so we'll go to the other one, make sure we got both of these done right. Again, apply pressure on both sides. That is the black side. The wide white we're gonna do first. Nothing, black, there it goes. Might be touching good. So let's switch it over to this side. What touch is good. So that is the wide white. We'll do black first, nothing. White side, boom. We got continuity. So we got it wired correctly on both outlets. We are good to go. And we'll just double test it. I will plug in 
the extension just so we can check this to make sure. No, we're not frying. We're good to go. I got my biscuit tool. We'll just try that, see if it works. Uh, wide, so it goes in this way, wide. Perfect. Unplug it. Nothing. Plug it into the other side. And undone. So now we have a full way outlet ready for use when we need it. Now how much more convenient is this versus this? <laughs> so many options. Plug in a couple of tools. We don't have to keep t unplug it. Plug the other one in. So nice, convenient, easy, stress free. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and share it. The only way it helps this channel. Be safe. Check your wiring each step. That's why I showed you with the multimeter. Check every step to verify you're doing it correctly. Last thing we want you to get hurt. More importantly, to catch fire and do more damage. That we don't want. So please be safe. Follow directions and check your steps. I can't do it for you. That is on you. With that, thank you so much for watching. Be blessed. Take back your check. <laughs> hmm. For your sanity. See you next video. You definitely want heavier gauge.